Hi, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you another Chief Architect uh, training tutorial. Quickly, um, I'm drawing this existing conditions model uh, of a house, this little salt box uh, house uh, that was just measured. And uh, got a few little tricks here um, in the garage. As you can see, we've got uh, one thing I noticed was this door is, does not have glass in it, uh, as the model shows, and I definitely don't have um, don't have siding shakes in the, in the garage. So uh, you know how to change a door. All right, we'll go to panel doors, rectangular, uh, six panel door. Now my defaults show this blue exterior. We can just change that to white by selecting my eyedropper tool, material eyedropper, pick up the white of this door and paint it on there. That's easy. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a section, a back clipped cross section of this wall face. <clears throat> and you can see where there's uh, the second floor wall is, and it makes sense, it's just going through the, through the uh, garage and showing there like that. So I'm going to go back to plan view up to second floor and I'm going to break with my break tool. You can hit control B or on a Windows PC or Command B on a Mac, or I've got my break tool right there in my toolbar, custom toolbar. Now I'm going to select this wall, open it, and go to wall types, and make it a pony wall. I want the upper wall to be the siding for existing shake that I've created, and the lower wall to be my interior for existing. I want them to uh, align on the main layer outside, which means that the um, outside of the main layer, which is my stud layer, the outside of the stud layer is going to align uh, flush, which is so stud on top of stud, which is what I want. I want the upper wall in, to display in plan view and click OK. Now, I'm going to go back to my elevation, my wall elevation. I'm going to bring this up like so. I'm going to hit number three on my keyboard, which is the break line tool. And I'm going to break it in the middle of that uh, rafter. And I'm going to hit Control on a Mac, on a PC or Command on a Mac, kind of stops you from having to do the uh, angle snaps for a brief second. Bring that down. Again, I'm going to hit 3 on my keyboard, break that uh, line tool, which gives me just the option of turning that. Again, Command on my Mac, Control on your PC, bring that down like that. Go down and take a rendering again of the garage. Ah, oh, we almost got it. Let's see how high can we go with this. That's as high as that one goes. And then we'll just do the same thing with this uh, attic wall. Here, I'm going to turn on F9 for my um, to, to turn on reference layers. I'm going to hit the click on the number three and I want to reference first floor because I want to see this roof here. Now, I don't see the, the ridge line, but I can actually snap to it because it, my reference layers are on. 
And so I'm going to draw a line, hit W on my keyboard, draw a line on that roof, and that's the center of where I want to break it, just this wall. So I'm going to break it here. I'm actually just going to guess and break it here, left and right of this um, ridge. I'm going to guess because I can move it in elevation if it's too wide, which I did make it a little too wide on this, this side here. But that's okay. I'm going to select this wall in elevation. Command E or Control E to open the wall. Wall types, again, pony wall. Interior 4 exist. Interior just means I'm going to have drywall on both sides, and it's a a 2x4 stud wall. Again, it's lined up on the main layer outside. I want to show the upper wall in plan view. Bingo. Bring this down like I need it. Hit the break number three on my keyboard to break that wall plane. Now I'm going to select this wall and bring it over. What I want is this corner lower left corner of this wall, this full height shake wall, to be in the rafter. That's fine. Now I'm going to select this wall. Just bring it down. This side, same with this side. I could bring it down. Once again, I could bring this wall on the left over to the right just as scotch. Actually, I'll bring it farther in because I don't want any of that drywall to be showing on the outside. I can bring that down a bit. It doesn't like that, does it? It's difficult um, sometimes with pony walls to bring it to uh, get it to do exactly what you want. And it doesn't look pretty, but from the inside, it looks fine. And from the outside, we see all shingles. No drywall on the, on the outside, no shingles on the inside. I think I'm happy.